Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Jalissa. Today we're trying another Revlon hair styling tool. So I'm super excited about this one because this is similar to the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer, but it is half the price. So it is about $30. So let's see if it's worth it. This has ionic technology, frizz fighting ions for silky smooth results. So this brings a one inch brush and also a one and a half inch brush so let's open this up i'm super excited i got this on amazon but i'm pretty sure they have it at ulta and other stores i don't know if this is new i don't think it's new but it's new to me so we're gonna try it <laughs> i'm also going to time this and see how long it takes me to do my hair with this so this is what comes in the box okay so this is the blow dryer this is interesting this is the smoothing concentrator and it's uh, for precise drying so this is pretty cool so it is kind of like a blow dryer pretty much if you want to use it to like air dry your hair if you're traveling you can use this so this is the one and a half inch brush and this is the one inch brush whoa this is very small it's gonna take me a while to blow dry my hair like i already know but here is the one and a half inch and the one inch so this just feeling this it feels very rough i don't know if you guys can see the bristles but they look very rough and they feel very rough so i don't know we'll see if this works i'm looking forward to it either way and i mean it is very cheap it's about 30 dollars. so if it's worth it the price is not bad at all so the first thing that i'm gonna do is actually i'm gonna try and blow dry my hair a little bit just so it's like more damp right now it is very wet so i'm just gonna use this to blow dry my hair a little bit and i'm gonna use my living proof restore perfecting spray this guys is so good for blowing out your hair i totally recommend it a lot of people have asked me what do you use um to keep your hair shiny and um so your hair looks healthy when you blow it out this is what i use most of the time this is what i use and it's very good it smells so good just add a little bit though don't add too much because then your hair can get a little bit sticky and it also has off cool low and high so i'm just gonna put it in high okay so it's still wet but i think i should be just fine so yeah i do like this blow dryer you definitely feel the very strong hot air i put it on high and it did feel very strong and very hot so now i'm going to part my hair into two sections okay so let's try this guys i'm gonna try the one and a half inch first i'm just gonna put this one very easy to attach and let's try this wow this is humongous so i am going to start blowing out my hair i'm going to start pulling it down on the roots and then in the end i'm going to start rolling it and flipping it and hopefully we can get a nice wave okay so let's do this guys okay i see what it's trying to do <laughs> i actually really like it i mean this does take a lot longer though than the revlon one step hair dry and violet mine because that one is humongous the brush this one is smaller so it's going to take a little bit longer but you do get um some different um type of waves on the end which i really like so if you have the time go for it um but if you just want sleek straight hair i would just recommend the one step hair dryer and volumizer actually i have to try the one inch so let's try that one out and see what it does to your hair so i'm going to take a smaller section for the one inch and let's try this
Okay, so this is what you get with the smaller one. Very nice uh, little wave at the end. But I do like the one and a half one better. So I like, ooh, that is really hot. Whoa. This gets really hot. So be careful when you're switching it because I almost burned myself. Well, I did burn myself, but yeah. So, oh my God. I'm gonna just keep doing the one and a half because sure, the one inch is fine if you have short hair. Like I really think this would be perfect for my grandma especially this small one. Oh my god she would love that she has really short hair but if you have really short hair you would love this like maybe if the revlon one step hair dryer and volumizer is too big for you you would love this because this is basically almost the same thing it does also get really hot and it blows out your hair very quickly but since my hair is so long and since well not that long anymore but since i do have long hair and i have a lot of hair i do prefer the one step hair dryer and volumizer because it just does everything way quicker so far i do like this and i might use it but i don't know let's see how my hair turns out i'll be right back Okay, so that's pretty much all I'm gonna do on this side as you guys can see you do get more of like a bouncy blowout so it's not as sleek and straight as the Revlon one step hair dryer and volumizer but you do get a nice shine and volume I will say though it looks a lot frizzier and I have been blowing out my hair for a while now I think this is the nicest it can get so what do you guys think oh one more thing this does pull your hair a little bit so be careful with that just make sure that you detangle your hair very well because this does pull your hair a little bit Alright guys, so here is the final look. As you can see, it's not bad, but it does look a little bit frizzier than with my Revlon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer. And it took me almost an hour, as you can see. It almost took me an hour to do my hair, and I don't even think it looks all that great, to be honest. I feel like you can kind of see that it's a little bit frizzy. My roots aren't even all that nice and sleek. So, I mean, would I recommend it? Sure, I would recommend it for shorter hair. If you have longer hair, if you have a lot of hair, I think you're better off just getting the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer just because it blows out your hair way quicker. I'm all about being fast and getting things done right away. I'm all about that. So, if something is taking me double the time to do, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna try and do it the quickest I can. So if I can blow out my hair in 30 minutes as compared to an hour, I will do that. Let me show you guys the back. So there's the back. It's all right. I mean, if I really wanted to get it smoother, I probably could, but it would just take me like 30 more minutes and I don't, want to do that so this is what my hair looks like after blowing it out for about an hour also one more thing that i really didn't like about this blow dryer is that it pulls your hair a lot it really does pull your hair a lot i think this is a little bit too aggressive for your hair if that makes any sense but the revlon one step hair dryer and volumizer and i'm comparing it to that one because it's like a similar type of 
blow dryer and it's the same brand so that's why i keep comparing it to that one but that one doesn't pull your hair like this one overall it's not bad it just takes way too long either i'm gonna link this down below because some of you might like it you know everybody's different and everybody likes different things so you guys might like it i don't know i'm gonna link it down below either way all right guys that is it for today's video if you liked it make sure you give it a big thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and turn on your post notifications so you can get notified every time i upload a video and if you liked this video then i'm sure you're gonna like these videos as well so make sure you go ahead and check out those videos bye guys love you